Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumper Remorse in February. I provide audio coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details www.dateme.tips Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing Dumper Remorse in February. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you will likely wonder if your ex may one day feel remorse for ending your relationship. With us now being in the month of February, I'm going to discuss three reasons why your ex may feel dumper's remorse in February. So let's get straight into this. And number one is reflection after a non-eventful Valentine's Day. So if you're a dumpy, one of the biggest fears that you will have in February is that your ex will be enjoying a Valentine's Day with somebody new. The reality, though, is that in most instances, your ex is going to be having a very mundane time during a Valentine's Day after your breakup. Now, of course, we have to be real. We have to be honest. We have to be genuine. And we have to say that if your breakup took place many years ago, then there is the chance, there is the opportunity that your ex dumper is with somebody new right now. We have to acknowledge that. But from my research, it is very unlikely that somebody will go from one serious long-term relationship to another serious long-term relationship within the space of a year. That is very unlikely to be the case. In most instances, it takes longer than a year, more than a year, if not two, three, four years, before somebody goes from one serious long-term relationship to another serious long-term relationship. So if your breakup took place in the previous year, for instance, it's very unlikely that your ex Badumper is celebrating Valentine's Day with anybody else. It's very unlikely that they're going to be with somebody new on Valentine's Day. Now, of course, there is always the possibility that this may be the case. Maybe your ex is dating somebody new right now. But if it happened within a few months after your breakup, this would probably constitute as a rebound relationship and something which is unlikely to last long term. If you want to understand why rebound relationships are unlikely to last the distance, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, and check out my YouTube videos on rebound relationships where I explain in depth my thoughts on this type of connection. For now, though, it's just important to understand that it's unlikely that your dumper is enjoying something special with somebody new on Valentine's Day. And hence, that would mean that their Valentine's Day would be non-eventful. And if somebody experiences an important day of the calendar that people recognise, such as Valentine's Day, if you go through an experience which isn't eventful then you are likely to wonder about the direction your life is going in right now. As a Dawn P, you're probably fearful right now of your own situation going into Valentine's Day. And if you don't meet anybody else during this time, if you aren't spending time with your friends or family, if you are alone, then unfortunately you will probably be self-reflecting as well and not thinking things through in a positive way. That's why I always say as a Dawn P, please make sure... You speak to your friends, your family, try and spend the time with somebody making sure you are not alone. And if you have to be alone on Valentine's Day, it's important that you give yourself the best possible date and enjoy yourself as best you can if you have to be alone. But I digress. And what we are talking about right now is reflection after a non-eventful Valentine's Day for your ex, for the domper. And this is where we can see that if your ex Badumpa has a non-eventful Valentine's Day, they will be self-reflecting. They'll be thinking to themselves, is my life going in the direction that I hoped? Did I make the right decision? I ended a relationship with somebody who loved me, with somebody who wanted to be with me even after the breakup took place. 
because as a dumper, they will see from how the breakup panned out that their dumpy did not want this to end. And hence, if you're living a life that isn't feeling fulfilled, you will wonder to yourself, have I made the right decision? Did I make a big error? And this is where a dumper will likely see the situation as being more clouded than at the time of when they ended the relationship. When they broke up with you, they probably thought, look, I'm going to move forward in this direction. Things are going to feel better for me. I'm going to live a more fulfilled life. That is why somebody ends a relationship to try and experience something new. But if Valentine's Day doesn't go the way they hoped, if they aren't enjoying it with a brand new relationship, then unfortunately for them, but fortunately for the dumpy, the dumper will be reflecting on their life, thinking to themselves, perhaps I've made the wrong choice. I dumped somebody who truly loved me. I ended a relationship where I was happy within at least some part of it. And who knows, maybe if I'd given it a better try, I could have been happier moving forward with somebody who loves me because right now I'm alone. And that is why number one in today's podcast about why a dumper might feel remorse in February is the fact that if they've had a non-eventful Valentine's Day, they will likely reflect and this can potentially lead to remorse. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast about dumper remorse in February. And point number two is intrigue after hearing nothing from their ex on Valentine's Day. So again, we're going to be focusing on Valentine's Day. It is one of the most important days in February. And in particular, if you don't have a birthday or anything else going on right there, it's probably the most important day on the calendar of this month. And therefore, we look and we see a Valentine's Day situation where the dumper doesn't hear from their dumpy. And hence, they are wondering, has my dumpy found somebody new. That is the type of intrigue which can really work into the mindset of a dumper. So let's explain this a little better. If you are a dumpy, if you have been dumped, then I suggest you never contact your ex again unless they contact you first. If you implement my version of the no contact rule, if you move forward in a way where unless you hear from your ex, you won't reach out to them first, then this will mean that on Valentine's Day, you won't be contacting your ex, the dumper. Now, even though a dumper doesn't want to hear from their ex from a rational perspective, from an outward perspective, because they ended the relationship and they want to do their own thing, internally, emotionally, subconsciously, the dumper is still expecting to hear from their dumpy. And if they don't hear from their dumpy, this will create a situation where in the dumper's mind, in the back of their mind, in their subconscious, they will start to feel a bit of wonder and intrigue as for why. Why is the dumpy no longer pushing me onto that pedestal? Why is the dumpy no longer reaffirming my value? This is what the dumper is likely to be thinking subconsciously. The dumper will wonder, if a dumpy hasn't messaged me today, does this mean they are living their life with somebody new? Does this mean they found somebody better than me? Maybe they never needed me at all. These are the feelings which can start to manifest somebody's mind, really starting to work on their subconscious and create in potential dumper's remorse. Now, of course, there is no 100% guaranteed way to get an ex back. There is no guarantee that every single person will go through these thoughts and feelings. But if you're a dumpy and you're thinking, shall I be implementing my version of the no contact rule? Then I would say, yes, you should, because it will increase your chance of generating wonder in your ex's mind. You can't miss somebody if they are always part of your life. And if we want your ex dumper to miss you, if we want your ex dumper to feel remorse about ending this relationship, we need a scenario in place where they can begin to miss you and wonder about you. And if you don't reach out to them on Valentine's Day, you are not reaffirming their value. You are not pushing them onto that pedestal. You are not saying you are a high value individual. You are creating mystery. You are living your own life. And even if you don't do anything in particular, your dumper doesn't know that. 
And they will be wondering, they will be thinking, and it could quite possibly generate some potential jealousy in the back of their mind, which reimagines itself as remorse. And if your dumper grows enough romantic emotional attraction, wonder and intrigue, this will be the time when they reach out to their ex. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about dumper remorse in February. And point number three is feeling low because it's February. So now we're going to be talking about February in general. And as I was mentioning earlier, Valentine's Day is likely the most important date within the month, in particular if there is no birthdays or anything such as that. Because if we consider Valentine's Day within the month of February and we consider what else takes place in February, we can see that February is, generally speaking, a quite low month. It's quite a sad month. It's quite a month of doom and gloom for a lot of different people. You might think, well, why is this? Well, those of us in the Northern Hemisphere are experiencing bad weather. February generally is not great weather in the Northern Hemisphere and the vast majority of the world live within this hemisphere and hence February doesn't feel so great. It is also a very long time before Christmas, a very long time before New Year and you start to think, gosh, there's all of this time ahead of me. What is there to look forward to? You know, things can feel pretty bleak in February. January is of course further away but at least January has that impetus of self-improvement and moving forward into the new year. February is often the month where people start to feel like things are getting on top of them. And if your dumper is living the single honeymoon period and things have not progressed, then when they come out of a single honeymoon period, they will be feeling somewhat lonely and somewhat wondering what is in store for them for the rest of the year. February, as I keep saying, is not an exciting month for most people. If you exclude birthdays and some other dates on the calendar, there are not many things which grab the attention because February is often a bleak month. It's often a month with very little going on. And therefore, if you are anybody who is not living their life to the full, you could be starting to feel a bit low. And what happens when we feel low? We once again, we self-reflect. So when we was talking about in point number one, self-reflection after a non-eventful Valentine's Day, self-reflection can take place if you're just not feeling great about yourself, if you're just not feeling top of the world. And why would you be in a bleak month like February if you aren't progressing the way that you hope? January is often known as the bleakest month, but as I've just said, it does at least have that impetus of self-improvement, New Year's resolutions. What does February have in comparison, often bad weather, often bills are stacking up, often a scenario where it feels a very long time before you can enjoy yourself in the sun once more. Now, for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, you might be thinking, well, it's the heart of summer for us. What is the problem? Unfortunately, I have to generalise in these podcasts, of course, and I apologise for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere thinking, I really like February. I love the weather there. Most of us, we're going through a difficult time and when the sun sets so early still, it doesn't feel like there's much to enjoy and look forward to during this month. If your dumper is somebody who goes through these negative feelings during this month, they will likely self-reflect, they will likely wonder what their ex is doing and they will wonder to themselves, would I have been better off in a relationship right now rather than feeling single, alone and sad? So I hope you've enjoyed today's podcast. hope you can see why there's all this potential in the month of February for dumper remorse to set in. Of course, nothing can be guaranteed, but I always say you should be focusing on living your own life to the full. Leave your ex to get on with their own kind of thing. And if you do enough of the right things your end, then there is every chance that one day in the future, you will hear from your ex again. If you don't hear from them, don't worry. Because again, if you do enough of the right things, if you concentrate on your journey, you will likely find somebody easier even better. With or without your ex, you will have a positive future. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. 
Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back, or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah, Vincent Bo, the relationship coach, uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips, go and check the site, uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back, or move to the next. Ain't no sweat, you know Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem, yeah. Date me that tips, check it out now.